Hey, what's up? Corpus Christi. Mmm. This is a good time of year <laughs> for, for my waistline. Not. Somebody gave me these cookies. These are these German, I don't know what they are, but they're made with anise a lot of times, I think. It's a, they stamp them on the top. This is a, my mom never made stuff like this because it was too complicated, but these are good. And somebody else gave me some good stuff. Um, I really like chocolate, by the way. Somebody told me last night they were going to bring me their homemade peanut clusters. Mmm, really good. And fudge, I'm just saying, fudge. I was going to make my mom's Russell Stover fudge. I have not done that yet, but I did make the bourbon balls uh, more than a week ago, so they are now fermenting. They're supposed to be resting for a month, so they become more um, bourbony. That's great. So anyway, it's a good time of year, so it's uh, good to see you guys or whatever today. Uh, it's Wednesday of the uh, second week of Advent, and uh, we have a lot going on this week uh, here at Corpus. And... Uh, Tonight's the penance service, and uh, tomorrow is, uh, I don't know, we just have a lot going on. Yeah, check, check the bulletin, as always. But here's some uh, good stuff. So first of all, thank you everybody who's responded uh, for our gifts of the heart. We've had so many things provided. Uh, our vestibule is full, and it's getting fuller, not to mention the hall, where they've already bagged up a lot of the things to go to the individual family. So thank you so much for the response. I really appreciate that. A couple of the other things we have coming up. So this weekend at Mass... Um, we will be handing out uh, these baby bottles. Um, and so this is going to, what we ask you to do is uh, save these and put your change in here for about the next month. And then in the middle of January, our Knights of Columbus Council always has their diaper drive uh, to help with mothers, uh, pregnant mothers. So this change or anything you put in here is going to go to the Inside Women's Center here in Lawrence uh, to help with their good work that they do to help um, mothers in need or expecting mothers. So uh, there's some information about uh, their organization and everything in the baby bottle. So uh, come to Mass this weekend, pick these up, or of course anytime during the office hours you can come in and get these. Um, and then uh, also this weekend, look in our bulletin. Uh, what we're, this is going to be the third Sunday. This is our little gift whatever fun thing. So the fourth Sunday of Advent, uh, we're hoping to give out to all of our first responders you know, we've been acknowledging them, but I don't think we can ever acknowledge them enough, the people who are in our hospitals and uh, caring, you know, for so many people these days. So we'd like to give them a cup of kindness. See the nice little cute little cup uh, that Maureen's made for us here on staff. Uh, so if you would like to donate $5, we're just going to give them a, a little gift, a little cup of kindness. Uh, so just to let them know that we're praying for them and thanking them for all the good stuff that they do. So again, a lot of good stuff uh, coming on here, getting ready for Christmas. That's the main thing I wanted to talk to you about today. So, but to do that, I want to go back. Let's go back to, to those crazy days in March when all of this pandemic stuff started. So as you know, um, you know we, were, we had so many restrictions at first just because of all the unknown. And um, we had the strangest Holy Week last year than I will ever have in my life. Uh, celebrating those beautiful liturgies I had them in Olathe, but it was just myself and the other priest and two other people. It was, just, it was not good, and, and, I, and I'm, not, I'm not telling you anything. But there's always good to come out of that, you know, that uh, I saw so many people trying to be creative with, to reach out to people, and the, the parades that you saw happening. You know, we had our eighth grade graduation in Olathe. It was just a parade. Uh, you know, nobody could get together. And so um, we've been together in this, and we will co continue to work with each other on this and uh, help each other. The thing of it is that, you know, as time has come on, um, of course, the archbishop and most bishops have still given a dispensation for people. So uh, you do not have, you're not obligated to come to Mass on Sundays. And for obvious reasons, I, everybody's made their decisions about that, uh, about uh, the reasons why uh, they haven't come and are still not coming. Uh, you know, we've, uh, we're still, have, and I would, let me just tell you this, I think what we're doing here at Corpus is, is amazing um, and it's very safe. Uh, people have been just coming here and there even in the last couple of weeks for the first time in five or six months and that's their immediate response is they're just they're so impressed with what we're doing. Um, I, we're, we're doing this for our safety but for yours and everybody. So just a reminder of what we're currently doing uh, and we'll continue to do is we have everyone sign up for the weekend liturgies online ahead of time. That's for contract contact tracing. Um, as well as just so we know how many, because we have to limit it, because uh, uh, as soon as you come in, we check your name off, 
uh, we have you go, you better, you have to wear your mask, of course. Um, and I don't, there's no exceptions for me on that one, by the way, sorry. Uh, wear your mask inside. Uh, you go in and you'll sanitize your hands. We have people who will escort you uh, uh, to your pew. And that way we can spread people out as much as possible. The main thing that CDC in the state says is that we have to make sure everyone practices physical distancing, so six feet. Uh, so we will do that. We will uh, seat you, and I know a lot of people don't like that either, but sorry. Uh, it's for everybody's good. So we will seat you in your spot, um, and we ask you to stay in that spot with your mask on. Hopefully you won't have to go to the bathroom for an hour. Uh, we ask you not to do that. Um, but then we will also have you ushered out for communion, um, and then we will usher you out after mass. The main thing is we want you to spend, uh, or say, six feet apart. We even have signs on the floor saying stop every six feet. So believe me, we're, we're taking a lot of precautions uh, here at Corpus Christi. Um, but I go back to the whole thing too again. Uh, uh, there's a lot of people who, for, for very legitimate reasons, have not been coming to church. And I've run into some of them at the hospital. Um, and, you know, um, actually on Sunday afternoons, we have our drive through communion now, where we have a brief prayer service and people who don't feel comfortable coming to church can still receive the Eucharist outside, and that's beautiful. Um, so a lot of people have been sharing with me the reasons why uh, they're not able to come into church, and, and, and I get that, you know, for health reasons and age and if they are first responders. So I'm, I, I totally get that. I also know that there's a lot of people who could be coming. Um, I, a lot of people who I've seen around town and people, and I'm, and this may be, will be a little judgmental, but people who I know who are even going to, uh, restaurants or, uh, places where they're much more enclosed, not separated. You know, our church is 50 feet high, so there's a lot of air circulating. Um, so, uh, that's as judgmental as I'm going to be, but what I'm, what I'm asking for everyone to consider for Christmas is to be consistent. You know, if your reasons in the past for not coming to church, um, for whatever they are, then be consistent with those reasons. Because uh, Christmas masses, um, they're gonna fill up just like that. Uh, I just checked actually with my two previous parishes. Prince of Peace and Olathe has seven Christmas masses. They, they're all full and they filled up within days. Uh, St. Matthew's in Topeka has four. They filled up within two days after the signups went up. So we're gonna fill up just like this. Uh, but my thing is, uh, again, I would ask you um, to be a little consistent about that. If you haven't been coming in the past, I'd ask you not to come this time. Um, and I know Christmas is special, but here's the deal. And some people have said they love the Christmas liturgies of Corpus Christi. I love liturgies wherever we are because they're beautiful, um, but they're not gonna be the same this year in church. We, just, we can't. Um, uh, minimal music. Of course, all the spacing, uh, not as many people. We're only going to be able to get 200 people in the church, uh, whereas normally we could get 1,100 packed in there. So it's not going to be the same as a normal Christmas, but you're probably not celebrating Christmas while all your family, I'm not, uh, and everything else. So it, it's, it's the, the sign of the times. Um, but uh, it's going to be your call. But uh, what I would ask you is just to be consistent with what you've done in the past and consider that now. Um, there have been people who have been coming, and I would, uh, uh, I would hate to have them not get a seat for Christmas uh, because they've been very faithful. And some of these people have been helping us all the time, you know, with uh, all the help that we need with ushers and everything else. So, um, so anyway, the sign-ups for our Christmas masses will start this coming Monday um, on the 14th of December. Uh, so uh, you can um, try to get in. That <laughs> sounds weird. Uh, chances are they're going to be filled up. But we've decided, because we know that's going to happen, that uh, we're going to get the first 200 people in the church who sign up. But then we're also going to have uh, the same mass live streamed at the same time in Holy Family Hall. And we think we're going to be able to get 100 people in there following all the same procedures. Uh, so if, you're, if you try to sign up for any of the Christmas liturgies and you don't get into the church, then we'll have a follow-up sign up uh, where you can sign up to go in, parish, in the Holy Family Hall. And then uh, basically you can watch Mass live there, and then we'll have people bring communion to you. Uh, following all the same restrictions, social distancing, wearing your mask, sanitizers, all that kind of stuff. So, um, so that's, that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, and this definitely means that if you do not sign up for Christmas Masses, you can't come. Uh, there won't be any walk-ups like we do on Sundays now. 
which by the way, that's kind of ending because we've had several masses that have filled up. So we have to just limit it. So if there's no room in church, there's no room in church. So again, make sure you sign up ahead of time. Um, so, you know, that's, that's kind of the deal. I know um, I've already heard from some people who aren't real happy, but it's, it's what we have to do. So um, sorry about all this stuff, but uh, we're, we're doing our best. You know, our staff here, we've talked a lot about this and we've been praying about it. Uh, so we're here again to serve you and um, we're doing as much as we can to help. What the, that? the full liturgy. With the, oh, like my a big gosh, liturgy. yes. Thank you, Christy. Yeah. So one of the things we're doing is uh, we are going to pre-record a Christmas Mass. And it's going to be the, the big deal. So it's going to have the full choir, which we can't have, have at our indoor masses, of course, because we can't. there's not enough room for them. So we'll have the full choir, as many people that come. They're going to be spread out all over in the church so we can hear them. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a beautiful liturgy with uh, all, the, all the good stuff that we would normally have that we can't do with, with COVID masses. So um, we are going to, we won't be live streaming any of our Christmas masses. We'll just be showing on our website this uh, pre-recorded mass. So, um, so at four o'clock, it's going to go live on Christmas Eve, and then it'll be up there all day Christmas. And so you could watch whenever you want to with your family, maybe at home. So consider that as an option too. Uh, so, so that's kind of what we're doing. Um, honestly, next week for my video, I'll probably have some updates about all this stuff because we're just we kind of have to see how it works, right? You know, and and uh, what what happens if. If we do fill up really quickly, um, well, I don't know what else we can do because uh, we got the overflow crowd going. And oh, one thing I forgot is Christmas Eve, we will also do the outside communion at five o'clock, five o'clock. So our mass is Christmas Eve are at four o'clock and then we'll do outside communion at five where you can listen in the lot. You could be in the lot listening to the mass. And then we have mass Christmas Eve at six o'clock and at eight o'clock and then Christmas morning at nine, okay? So um, again, that's, that's kind of the big update uh, on everything with Christmas, it's all exciting times. But uh, so let's just uh, work together on this as together we're, we are in this all together. So let's just keep moving forward. And uh, again, we have, here at Corpus are here to serve you and I look forward to you uh, helping us as well. So uh, I think that's it for this week, everyone. Uh, thank you so much. I'm gonna go back to eating my lunch, uh, this healthy <laughs> food today. So uh, God bless you guys, uh, we'll see you. Have a good week. <laughs>